What's good with you, fam? This your guy, King David, Trapmonster, Trapmonster.com. And here today, man, I wanted to ask y'all a question. Do y'all think artists think that uh, music producers are dumb? I say that because, like, I had a session, you know what I'm saying? And, um, you know, like, you know, any other session, a lot of times, a lot of artists come in and be like, hey, can you download this beat off of YouTube? This, this and that. You know what I'm saying? And a lot of times they don't understand it. And I ask them, you know what I'm saying? Like, is this mixtape type shit? Is it an album? This is that. And you'd be surprised. A lot of them is like, this is album type shit. You know what I'm saying? But they ain't least no motherfucking beat. You know what I'm saying? So they go and get the shit for free on YouTube because we put it up there, right? You know what I'm saying? And, and it's for advertising, you know, showcasing what we do. And things like that, you know what I'm saying? And I'm um, hoping and intent that uh, an artist will respect our craft and, and, and love what we do to go to our site and lease it for whatever, how much we charge in or get the exclusive or whatever, whatever. You know what I'm saying? But a lot of artists out here think that because we upload beats up on YouTube and, you know, put a little artwork behind it and we may even say free beat and it may be free for them to, you know, download it and listen to it, whatever, whatever, but is that beat really even free? You know what I'm saying? And so a lot of times I think the perception of what they what they think is that we just dumb that we uh, let a beat just go out like that and they can record, shoot music, video, artwork, all this type of shit. You know what I'm saying? And not get paid for it. Now we all seen that Slim Jesus situation, right? Dude got the beat on YouTube. Made the song high. He even shot a video to that motherfucker, right? Okay. Everybody else would get paid before Slim Jesus would. But do you know what that young man did? He went and got that motherfucking beat. He went and hollered at that motherfucking producer and leased it and bought it exclusive, whatever the fuck he did afterwards, because he realized that everybody else is gonna make money off of that song but him. You know what I'm saying? The producer's still gonna make money off of it because it's getting monetized as soon as you shoot the fucking video for it. All the views and shit's going straight to the producer. You know what I'm saying? DJs and promoters and every fucking body else is getting paid but him. That's the truth. So that's why I ask a lot of times, like, do artists really think music producers are dumb? Or is it the other way around? Because do you think because it's free that you got free range to do whatever the hell you want to on the track? Nah. It's not, it don't work like that. It's still a business transaction. You gotta think about it, bro. The music game is a billion dollar corporation. Do you really think somebody's gonna make a beat and allow you to rap on it, shoot music videos and everything else and blow the fuck up and they ain't got they just do off of that beat that they paid, that they made? With the, off of the, the equipment they paid for and off the electricity bill that they pay for every month? Hell no. You know what I'm saying? So, that's why I asked that question. Do y'all think or do y'all feel like music artists feel that music producers are dumb enough to just go for the bullshit and not get our money? No, we're going to get our money. That's what we're doing it for. You know what I'm saying? But it just really, I think they have a lack of respect. A few of them, I can't say all. Oh, you know what I'm saying? But there is some individuals out here that really feel like, you know, music producers come a dime a dozen and they, you know what I'm saying? They can capitalize off of us and, and they gonna make money and, and fuck us. But reality, you think about it, music producers, man, run the whole motherfucking world, really, to tell you the truth. Would nobody watch nobody TV show, no film, play nobody's fucking video game, none of that shit, if it weren't for a motherfucking music producer, composer, or musician. Would none of that shit fly? You know what I'm saying? Would nobody commercial, McDonald's commercials, be getting shot so they can buy food from them and all this and all that if it wasn't for no music because guess what, they gotta have music behind that shit. And behind all that shit, you know what I'm saying? Video games, anybody gonna play no fucking video game, ain't got no sound effects in there, no music. Nobody gonna watch nobody's movie, TV show, no Empire, any of that type of shit if it ain't got no music in it. It's a fact, you know what I'm saying? So, I'm just let, also letting you guys know to make beats how important you are, you know what I'm saying too. 
You know what I'm saying? Regardless of what choice of DAW you in. I don't give a fuck if it's Cakewalk, Sarnor, Sonor, or fucking FL, or whatever the fuck it is. You know what I'm saying? That you important no matter what. You know what I'm saying? And that, uh, you know, artists out here need to understand that. And, and big major labels need to understand that too. Because they look at it as like a dime a dozen. But I think I'm starting to see a shift too, though, in the music realm of things with music producers, you know what I'm saying, where we starting to really kind of come together, you know what I'm saying, things like that, and we need to keep that shit up, we need to support each other, you know what I'm saying, and and build it up, because, I mean, the true facts of it is, is that we are kind of like the last ones to get paid, and we don't get paid as much as the artists do once business is took care of the right way, you know what I'm saying, a lot of times, you know what I'm saying, but at the same time, we, we the one to create jobs, you know, we, we the one to get promoters their job, and DJs, and you know what I'm saying? Motherfucking on-road managers and, and people who do the concert shit, the lighting and stage and all that type of shit. You know what I'm saying? We create jobs. You know what I'm saying? So I feel like we need to make sure that we always get in our just doing our respect. You know what I'm saying? I don't know. That's just my little rant. You know what I'm saying? That's what's in my mind. And I just want to throw that out there. You know what I'm saying? So uh, you guys make sure y'all subscribe, like, Share the content. Make sure you follow me on all social platforms. You know what I'm saying? I appreciate you guys checking out the content. Until next time, it's your guy, King David. TryMonster, TryMonster.com. I'm out. Peace.